was a fun kid. And I enjoyed my 14 years with my baby. A teen who was shot and killed was laid to rest today. Good evening, I'm Aaron Eads. Emily is off tonight. Last Saturday, 14-year-old Elijah Booker was killed. His funeral was today. Police are still looking for the person who pulled the trigger. WCI3's Miranda Meister is with us now. Miranda, you spoke with his family today. What did they have to say? Well, Aaron, I spoke with Booker's dad, and he says he's pushing through, and he says Elijah's mother is hanging in there. But after losing her son the day before Mother's Day, the holiday won't ever be the same for her. It was tough, but that's the way the Lord wanted. I'm going to see him one day again. I, I feel our spirits will meet again. Surrounded by his friends and family, Nivelle Booker said his final goodbyes to his son. He says this was the hardest day of his life. Like no other day in my 48 years that I've been here on this earth. To make things even harder, he was planning on having Elijah move to Kentucky to live with him. He says he wanted to keep him safe, but that plan ended when he got a phone call. I felt helpless because I was so many miles away from my baby. Joseph Prim is one of the men that spoke at the service. He says he did that to get a message across. It got to be a better way to life, man. Put the guns down. Booker's death inspired the Champaign County Community Coalition to hold their first violence forum. On Friday night, they met to talk about how to heal the community and prevent something like this from happening again. I just hope and pray that through it all, man, we learn something from this. Because I, I don't want to go to another funeral. Booker says through it all, he can't have hard feelings about what's happened. And he's grateful for all the support for his family. And no matter which way it goes, I have, I have no hatred or nothing. I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful to everybody. Champaign police say they're looking for a 15-year-old. They say he might have fired the gun by accident. They also say that he isn't cooperating with their investigation, so a warrant has been issued for his arrest. If you have any information, give them a call. Aaron. All right, Miranda, thank you so much for that. Now, while Booker's family is trying to find peace, the family of another teen is looking for justice. 16-year-old David Sankey was shot and killed in Champaign last August. 19-year-old Darian White is charged with the crime. In court this week, a judge decided there is enough evidence to move forward with a case against him. Sankey's mother told us she's glad to hear that.